Hey, what's good, everyone? It's your boy, Matt Diazbo, here doing some more music discussions. Yeah, yeah. Hope you're doing well. Uh, today, I'm checking out this band called Eyes In with their debut. I don't think it's a debut, but their latest EP, Eyes In. Eyes In is a four-piece hardcore band, and I think I'm going to butcher this name. They're from Alabama, and the town name is called Telusco. Telusco? Oh, I'm pretty sure y'all going to give me a lot of shit for that, but I attempted. I did my best. Uh, yeah, they are a four-piece hardcore band that's been around for a couple years now. And one, someone who knows this band was like, hey, you should check out this band. And I was like, hey, I love that. Thank you for the recommendation. So I was really excited to check this band out. And I got to say, if you're a fan of like Incendiary, Tsunami, and Every Time I Die, you're definitely going to like this band with how aggressive and wild their sound is. Aizen is very locked in in understanding their sound because they got a really big and bold style of hardcore that they know how to play very well with some really, really crunchy guitars backed up by some big, bold, and just badass sounding drumming. The band is not very technical or very complex. I think they keep it really simple because they just want to play heavy and hard music and they play it loud and they play it proud and they do a really good job of it, I think. The vocals on this uh, EP just attack your ears in the best possible way with how aggressive and just how well produced they sound. And not just the main vocals, the backing vocals add a lot of uh, variety to the songs. And so specifically the song Out of Time, they do this little like back and forth thing that just uh, spices up the song and it sounds really cool. So I'm gonna play a clip of that for you right now. Those vocals just sound dope. They have some really good crunchy and mean sounding riffs that just make you want to mm, meme uh, while you listen to them, especially on the opening track, uh, Funny the Snake Says. Just something about how heavy and like down tuned the guitar sound. They just are just beefy and angry and it sounds great. So here's a clip of that for you. Can't help but just meme the whole time. The drumming on this album has a really good popping sound to it that just really uh, adds a lot of uh, extra oomphness to the songs. And especially, ironically, the song Atomic Bomb, the way that the song ends and how the drums play, it just sounds like a bomb going off every time with just how intense they are playing and just how slow and menacing it sounds. So here's a clip of that for you. Devastation, baby. The bass playing on this particular EP, I don't think is being too complex. Like I said before, uh, it's being really simple. It's laying down some thick bass lines. It's doing its job of not trying to be too flashy and just over the top. It's doing its job. It knows it's, it, I want to say it knows its place. It just knows what it needs to do. Now, with all these simple and heavy parts to their songs, it doesn't leave much room for, uh, I would say, uh, more unique song structures because I would say throughout this EP, there's a lot of similarities in the riffs and some of the, the heavy parts. Um, but I don't say it's necessarily like a bad, bad thing because, like I said, they're here to put like make heavy music that's ignorant and fun and like just aggressive. Um, I don't think they're trying to be like some really big technical giant or push the genre of hardcore into a new kind of uh, uh, new atmosphere or a new direction. They know what they want to do. Simple, heavy, hard and to the point. If you're looking to get wild and ignorant in the pit, have a good time and just consume some very simple and fun music, Aizen is the band for you. They are just doing what they do and that's make aggressive, hard ass music. 
and i would say and the production on it is really good for the most part they sound really clear and crisp so i would say this ep from aizen is a good solid and decent eight out of ten mm. links down below check them out uh they're from the local alabama scene uh, hopefully they'll get bigger in time always support your local scene whatever music genre or art it is support it go to shows buy art buy merch help your uh, homies out uh like subscribe and comment on this and until next time guys bye